Sales Order System Overview Standard Shipping The standard shipping process is designed for use in simplified warehouse management operations or in situations where a formal picking process is either not required or too cumbersome. The process allows you to create all your transactions in a single module. This is the ship module versus the picking process where you have to first create a pick list, then receive it, and then ship it. The shipping module is a much simpler way of doing this. Features include the ability to have a pop-up that allows you to scan your product as you ship it. And this includes um, intelligent prefixing in cases uh, such as the ANSI standard. You can either ship complete or you can process back orders in this module. This produces packing slips and any other required shipping paperwork. Freight charges and costs can also be processed, and you have the potential to integrate carriers such as UPS or Federal Express. You can process using variable units of measure, in other words, the unit of measure either that is ordered, the unit of measure that is picked, or the unit of measure that the inventory is in normally. You can assign final prices at the time of shipment, and this is uh, normally done in the case of commodities. Inventory is relieved at the time of shipping, and the shipping value is accrued prior to invoicing in cases where you're using real-time inventory accounting. The final thing is that the shipping module will submit a transaction to the AR invoice generator for invoicing. Let's take a quick look at the sales order shipping transaction overview chart. The sales order shipping transaction contains two parts. The shipping transaction itself, which is the sales order number, and uh, the carrier, the bill of lading number, all of that parent information. And the transaction body, where all of the um, items and quantities are stored. Now, the sales order is updated at the time of shipping transaction. Its remaining quantity and all the line items the ship quantities, and the status will be updated. In the case where the line item is ship complete, the status will change to closed. In the case where the item has a back order, the status will remain open. The SO ship transaction also updates the inventory system, which includes the inventory summary or the inventory detail if this is a lot, control, to, uh, lot controlled item. This is where you'll see your quantities actually physically reduced. And it's based on the quantity shipped and the bin locations chosen during the SO ship transaction. The SO ship transaction creates a record that is ready to be invoiced, and this will typically be invoiced through the AR invoice generator module. At the time of shipment, an accrual will occur, and this accrual will be reversed once the invoice is created. The accrual is what we call bill and hold. The shipping transaction value accrues based on um, the normally the standard cost value for the items, but in the cases of um, make-to-order manufacturing, uh, it can also be a particular work order that's associated. Uh, whatever, the value will be accrued at the time of shipment, and as previously stated, reversed um, once the invoice is generated. So, let's take a look at the shipping module.